Friday night, no time for waiting. Let's pack up some things and just go somewhere way up into the mountains where all the hippies still go. Glenn and Sue will be coming up too. It should be the first to arrive. That is, of course, if they can endure what will be a three-hour drive. By chance we happen to arrive together on a mountainside and found the place where we were welcome and really lucky to find. We settled in for the evening, but sure we opened some wine and wowed about the old cabin where we'd be spending the night. We woke up in the morning, got dressed and took us a ride around a snow-covered mountain where nature often would hide. The beauty of my girl's waterfall brought some tears of joy to my eyes.